Then you have in chapter 4 the service of the Levites. These three families had this service to perform. And who is to serve? It says in verse 1, chapter 4, And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi after their families by the house of their fathers from 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old all that enter into the host to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Now, from 30 to 50, they were to serve. That was the prime of life for them, and they were to serve. Now, we're told, as you move down into this section here, "...and when Aaron," verse 15, "...and his sons have made an end of covering the sanctuary and all the vessels of the sanctuary," as the camp is to set forward. After that, the sons of Kohath shall come to bear it, but they shall not touch any holy thing, lest they die. These things are the burden of the sons of Kohath in the tabernacle of the congregation. Now, this was the order on the wilderness march. And we are told here, verse 20, "...but they shall not go in to see when the holy things are covered, lest they die." In other words, the only ones who ever saw the articles that belonged in the Holy of Holies was Aaron and his sons. They were the only ones, and that was the ark and the mercy seat that covered it. Then you have the order of the service of these others, Merari carrying these heavy articles, the pillars and the boards and the bars. And then we find that the Kohathites, they had their assignment, which was the articles of furniture. And then Gershon, he took the curtains and coverings and cords. And you'd think he had the easiest job, but I don't think it was easiest, but it was certainly easier than Marare as far as the articles were concerned. Now, there's a glorious message given to us here concerning these that are serving the service of the Levites. In the service, Koath came first as he carried the articles of furniture.